Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on, and welcome back to Fishing Planet. Now, I have been grinding this game like an absolute motherfucker to get this stuff. We finally hit level 18, which means we can finally go into California A, which we're in now, San Joaquin Delta. Uh, we're going to catch some other bits and bits. I think we're going to catch some uh, bass and some other bits and pieces today. Hope, hopefully, this, this game is notorious. This, this is an evil, evil session. I want to try all three. One's for carp, mainly. This one is mainly for carp over this side. I think it's this one over here. This one's mainly for carp, I want to say. The beaver. I'm going to go fish the beaver, you know what I'm saying? The beaver. <laughs> the beaver, you know what I mean, boys? The beaver. Got the dam, and we've got the uh, foggy sank. I've never actually been over here before. I don't know what's here. Apparently, there's white crappies and red ears and all kind of abundant stripped bass. I don't know if the stripped bass are there. I don't really care, but I normally hunt, hunt fish over here. Uh, yeah, so we're in Delta early morning. Let me just quickly flash to the kit that I have again. It's pretty much the same as the last time. I got the heavy rod, Thor 96 with a 19 pound line weight with the uh, Exterminator 500. I know use uh, this is not really used here, but I use it for other things. I might just change that tackle off for something else. Uh, what should we pick? We will pick. Let's get a crankbait on there just because I think I've got a crankbait on too as well. No, there's not. Just a chat. <clears throat> All right, so basically, I use this one with the uh, 011 line. Oh, it's time fucking lunch, excuse me. This side, uh, 009 braid, which is, I think, it's a 20 pound weight limit, a 20 pound test, I don't know. Uh, jig number, da, 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 half ounce jig with a 4 hook and a 3 inch shad. Uh, yes, 3 inch shad. Also got the uh, the heavy duty gear, the Phoenix 1410, that's a big fucking rod. And uh, Exterminator 5500 with 9009 again, and this is for big, bigger like fish for catching on floats. That's for the smaller ones. Same, same cut. This is basically the same sort of setup all the way, all the way through. But these, these, these three here, these seven, six, and five, they're all for lower, lower level spinning. So the, the Argo six three, this works out well. The Argo and the Lodex, the Aurora and the Spiral. This, these two work very well together, which is nice. Have a quick look at that if you're a lower level. Maybe this is a good setup and jig winner. This also have a good setup as well. If you're interested, if you're not interested and you got your own shit, then crack on. But this is what I used to use until level about 15 when I got new stuff. So let's crack on. We're gonna start under the dam. I already have caught some fish today on this level. Uh, we're gonna go for salmon. Normally, salmon right at the edge of the edge. Salmon normally live around here. This is salmon. And uh, striped bass and other stuff live around here, but you don't know. You can never tell because the fish move around this level. This level. So we're gonna wing it out here as far as we can and use the uh, stop and go technique to see if we can actually bag some more bitches. Whether or not we catch anything. I would like to catch something on this video because otherwise it's a pointless fucking video. But need to say I have ground this level. This, this I have I ground. I grinded so much. The peacock bass in the previous video. I, I grind them. It was just unreal. It, it took days of playing. I was, we're talking playing from, I don't know, fucking mid, mid, mid seven o'clock in the morning until six o'clock at night and then I'd stop for six till ten. And then from ten I'd go on until God knows how long. Seven in the morning, get back up, do it again. Just to catch these fish to level up for you guys. Because that was uh, too early on that one. But like I said before, once you... Uh, you fished a place. It's the same shit over and over again. So I have to keep leveling up to give you more levels, to give you more stuff, which is what I want to do. I'm happy to do it because I enjoy the game. But my god, man, it's a grind. Developers, if you're watching this, make it less grindy. I should not have to show you. I'll show you how much XP I have to my next level, actually. I'll show you how much I have to the next level. It's a lot, all right? It's a fucking shit ton. I'll show you. Once I get this bad boy in, I might catch it. I might, it might. Get an early strike. The strike bass night tend to uh, also come in quite early. Quite early, quite shallow. They're quite normally about here, I find them. But anyway, let's have a quick look. See how much XP I have to go. We're going to go over here. Uh, 180,000. So I've got 125,000 right now. So I need like 55,000 more XP. Which is a lot. A fucking lot. It is a lot. But look, I've got some trophies. A trophy alligator. 89 pound alligator gar. Not a bad shout. This one I only caught the other day. The unique striped bass. I was quite quite happy with that. That's a quite a big one as well. Quite a big one. I've got a trophy common carp. There's carp here as well. I might take it to see carp later on, but I don't know. Depends how we do here. Chinook salmon. Yep. Steelhead bass. They're here as well. Steelhead trout, rather. And then the unique butterfly. All the way down. All the fish. I've caught. 
So yeah, all right. With that said, let's crack on. Now let's see if I'm going to change this up. Actually, we changed it up to use the this one gets a lot of fish. They like this one. I don't think I've missed any um, any lakes out. If I've missed any lakes out, let me know in the comment section. I'm sure that I've not missed any out. But you just literally cast in here. This, where I'm casting now, by the greenhouse, is the spot that you're going to get trophies right bass if you're lucky. There we go, something's on. Something a, bit, something a bit bigger at last. I think a little bit bigger. Maybe a salmon, I want to say. So I wanna, I'm going to guess a Chinook salmon. Could be wrong. It could be a uh, trophy steelhead. But it's definitely not a striped bass. Trophy striped bass. Definitely not. It's coming in far too easy for that. What do we have? Oh, it's a, it's, I reckon it's a steelhead. I think it's a steelhead trap. I'm not sure. I think it's a, I know, I'm fairly certain it's a steelhead. It's coming in very easily right now. Come on, you fucker. Yep, it's a steelhead. Yay! Woo! My first steelhead of the day. Nine pounds. You can get uh, salmon a lot easier than this. Salmon go for... And there's also carp. I might take you for carp, actually. Carp, carp do buy. On the second day, we'll see how it goes. And if we get to a day two, we'll go for carp on the other side. And that's what we'll do. Just carp bite early. Carp at early birds. Got another one on. What have we got this time? What have we got this time? What do we have this time? Salmon? I think it's a Chinook salmon. But it's not fighting as hard as a striper would. Or it could be a low-level striper. I don't know. It's not fighting all that much. It's coming in pretty. It's coming in pretty easily. Come on, fish! In you come, you bastard! I play this game so much to the point where this has become almost like second nature. I find myself logging in just for the XP or just for the uh, the daily bonus, if you will. It's a Chinook Salmon. Yep, it's a Salmon. Chinook Salmon. Another one. I've not caught a Trophy Chinook yet, but I'd like to catch a Chinook Trophy because that, that's pretty awesome. They get quite big. £30, I think. £37, maybe. I don't know. But my net's almost half full. My net's in fact over half full, which is good. I was with the perch crankbait as well. I'm going to try the perch one too. Oh, that was a fucking... Someone took a nibble at that. It's a foul hook, maybe. But I don't know. Oh, I'm catching fuck all. Fish on, way! What do we have here? Could be another Chinook salmon. It could be. Oh, it's pulling quite hard. I don't know. The salmon, I don't really remember salmon pulling this hard, but I I could well be wrong. I normally am wrong when it comes to fish. I don't have a fucking clue what I'm catching. I do believe this probably is the Chinook salmon, though. Fucking salmon bastards, come on. Oh, no, it's not salmon. It's a uh, trout. Or a striper. Striped bass. Whee! It's first striped bass of the day. Exact same size as Sky Pilot. Fair enough. But a lot of these guys are on Steam too. If you're interested, right? A lot of these, uh, where to find these fishes are on Steam. The Steam community of this game is full of information, man. They tell you where the strap where the striped bass are. They tell you where the trophies are for most of the lakes. So you go on the Steam, the Steam community page, the discussions page, and like pinned to the top is where all the, uh, like the trophy guides are and whatnot. So you can quite easily go there and find them. I know, I know a lot of people go to YouTube to look for it, which is a good choice. But sadly, because of the way they update the AI of the fish quite often, it, a lot of the guides are out of date, which is a bit of shit. Because when I went, when I went searching for guides on this lake here, all the guides are out of date, and I was like, "Oh, for fuck's sake!" So I went in here and asked again, and people politely obliged with uh, letting me. <laughs> they politely obliged me by giving me information, which is fucking nice of them. Cheers, guys! Top bananas, all of you, like a whole bunch of top bananas. But this perch one is quite... I mean, it's 20 minutes. I've only caught three or four fish. It's a bit shit. Pray for me, guys. Come on. We need to catch something decent here. I think this will be lovely. 
A trophy fish will be lush. Really appreciate that shit. Oh, something's on. We got something at least. Wait, hey. something bit. Finally, I was getting a bit bored there. Is this, oh, this is another? But this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a uh, salmon or a steelhead maybe. Oh, I like to play the guessing game. It's pulling whatever it is. It feels weighty, but that could be. It could just be a fuck. I think it's a salmon. I think it's a fucking Chinook salmon. I think it's salmon. That's a shame. Oh, that is running quite fast. Running quite... Also, developers of the game, if you're watching this, give us float rods with more... That can take a bit more than 12 pounds, please. Give us big boy float rods, because the ones we've got now are shit. Do you have an idea of how difficult it is to try and pull in a fucking 90 pound alligator going on a 12 pound rod? Are you crazy? It's insanely difficult. Insanely difficult. It takes fucking forever too. So if you please, please add some more rods that can take a bit more than 12 pounds. I'll be very, very grateful. I think most of the community would be as well. If we want at least like 20 pounds or 25, 30 pound rods. That'd be nice. What do we have here? That's another salmon. I called it. I fucking called it. Another Chinook salmon. Look at that ugly bastard. That is an ugly bastard salmon. Oh, there you go, and again. Nice. I like it when fish bite my rod. Even if it is going to be a shitty fish. But I don't think it is. No, I think it could be a... Well, it's not a small mouth. It's not a small mouth, that's for sure. Steelhead, I reckon. I reckon we use a steelhead. It's called it's Guess the Fish. Yeah, but it's a steelhead. Another one. Another steelhead. How big? Uh, eight pounds? Oh, eight point nine pounds. Awesome fish. Awesome fish. Let's try the blue crankbait again. It's sunny now, so they might bite it. Nothing. They're not biting. They're fucking. They're taking the crank, are they? They're not having any of the fucking crankbait. Oh, there you go. There you go. No, I lie. I lied. Saying I had the crank. Fucking small mouth bass, you watch. It's whatever it was, it was quite close. Oh, it's a striper. No. At least it's something. Right at the edge of the fucking dock, but we're going to change that to the blue one. The lemon one, should I say. Put you on there. Give the lemon one, give the, uh, give the lemon one another go. And then we'll try back on the, the medium spoon. Because the medium spoon is the one in this level. They love it. I don't know why they love it so much, but they do. But they certainly do. Everything has gone to bed. <laughs> you know what? It's four o'clock. I'm a fish. I'm tired. I've been swimming all day. Take a rest. Have a lay down. Have a cup of tea. That would be nice. Cup of tea. Oh yeah, cup of tea. Fucking love a cup of tea, me. It's not biting. They're not biting, are they? They are not biting at all. Wait, there you go. There's one. What size is it? What do you reckon, peeps? What do you reckon? Doesn't want to come in. Whatever it is, it doesn't want to come in. I'm gonna fucking make it. Come on, you shit. Yeah, strap bass. <laughs> hey! <laughs> At last, trophy striped bass. Finally, finally. Oh, only a little one, but I still got one, and that was right in the fucking dock as well. Jesus, that's good to know. That's good to know. 
That is good to know. 514 XP off that one. That is good to know. So I'm not wasting my time doing that. So if I just launch it like there. Let's test this theory out. I may have just learned something. I may have just learned something. Don't quote me on that because I'm not very clever. But I may have just learned something. I'm not looking like you though. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I ain't looking very much like it's going to happen. But here's to hoping. Here's to the dream. Live... Live life like you've always had it in your dreams. When you catch a fish, it's going to be the best fish you've ever caught in your life. Shark. Oh, let's add shark to this game. That'd be amazing. 500 pound bull shark. Yes, please. I know bull sharks do go in the fresh water too. I know that. They go down through the rivers and uh, estuaries and whatnot. And they can spawn and breed in the shallows because they uh they can they can tolerate salt they can tolerate fresh and salt water. I forget the word for them, but they can. There's a particular word that I use that, that, that I use that they use when it happens like that. They can take both fresh and salt water. But I forgot what the word is. Another fish on sweet. I think we have though a uh I'm gonna go with this is gonna be a smallmouth bass. Jump. Yep, some more bass. Gotcha. Little Weasley bastard. Alright, let's keep going. It's <laughs> so sad. You catch a massive striped bass and then... Then you catch one of them. You catch yourself a 20 pound bass. And then a 2 pound bass. Bad juju. Some bad juju. <sighs> oh, another one. What we have here? This one's pulling a bit more. What do we have here? This could be another. I reckon it's another fucking Chinook salmon, you know? I think we have another Chinook salmon on our hands. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Although it's pulling quite nicely. It is pulling quite nicely. But I'm pulling better. Fucking beast set up, mate. Fucking beast set up. What? You got no match for this. No match for this. It does feel quite heavy fish, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm probably sadly mistaken and we're very upset with the outcome. What do we have here? Well, it's a Chinook salmon, I reckon. A salmon? Get my fuck off my law then. If you're a salmon. Yep, it's a salmon. It jumped as well. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun. Oh, 13 pound salmon. Whoa. <sighs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to end this video here. The fish are clearly not biting, so they must be under immense pressure because you guys are watching them. But on the, we did catch a trophy striper, which is nice. We did catch a trophy striped bass, which I came here for anyway. So if you want to see some more fish, don't forget to leave a comment in the section below. I will be doing the hour, like I said, the hours video of this once or twice or three times. Depends if you like it. I will do an hour video over and over again. Actually, no, yeah, I could. Yeah, it could be a regular thing. An hour video here, an hour video there, if you want to see, of course. So, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to use that thumbs up button that's down there in the bottom corner below. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Hey,